Hey guys, I'm Nick and in this video I will show you how to use and set up clan for one of the best render farms that I have ever used and I'm so glad that I found them. It's called Fox Render Farm. So first of all you obviously need to sign up and in order to do that you can check out the description of this video. There will be my affiliate link which will give you some extra coupon credits so definitely use that link and if you follow the link you will be on this page. Here you just click create an account and as I already have my account let me just sign in. So here the console will load and here you can see all your like spendings you can recharge your balance all this stuff and you can use this web dashboard but actually it is better if you just download this client and here you can hover on client download page and just download it for windows or for linux and once you download that you just follow the simple install procedure and then it will have your client here and this render farm is located in china so the ui by default is set to Chinese and here you can just click on this gear icon here and then switch it to be English and then yeah you just type in your uh, login and your password and click sign in and here you can see that they have CPU platforms and GPU platforms and that's basically depends on which software or which render engine you will be using. I'm using Redshift for this project and we will be working on GPU platform and GPU region 1 and you can click start so it's connecting here the first thing that you will need to do is go to settings here on the software tab you will need to add your software configuration so i have cinema 4d and houdini configurations so basically you click this add software config you can type it houdini redshift and then you choose your version of houdini and i'm using 19 and plugin should be rs so redshift and then you just click here on your version click this plus sign and and basically then you, you save it. I'll be using my this setup here and for Cinema 4D it's basically the same. Um, you need to specify your version here and let's say I'm using C4D R20 and the Octane is actually TCO so yeah here you just grab your version of the octane and also you will need to specify the installation pass for cinema 4d then basically you can leave all the all the other settings by default here um, you can also cho choose the default configuration and you can choose the hardware let's say i want 1390s um to 1390s yeah that's that's basically it let me show you how you can actually just drag and drop um your scenes here so right now i have this simulation that we will be checking out in the next tutorial but basically what i have here is just some some splines and all that stuff and i don't have any sort of file cache here but just when you're caching out the simulation make sure the that the file cache is in the same folder basically all the assets should be in the same folder however i'm using here um, an hdri and actually it just uploads the the hdri from my local pass which is on actually on another disk so let me just show you how i upload the projects here so here i have my line wave blend and i just drag and drop it here and it will go and analyze all the files and all the dependencies the project has if you haven't uh, some assets uh, or any sort of error occurs it will let you know and here you see analysis done with a warning and i can check and it says missing following files if not necessary please ignore it and continue to submit i think yeah i can i can just ignore that because it's like i don't know something and now it shows us um the parameters of our render job you can test the frames first frame middle frame final frame i don't check this simulation and tab i just prefer to just simulate on on my pc and that's basically it and frames per node you can use one frame per node which will be basically each gpu they will give you it will be rendering one frame at a time and i think it's much better to stick with five or ten frames per one gpu so let's try frames per node 10 and now we submit you see that all of the files being uploaded to the 
to the farm and once it's done it says job submit successfully and here we are seeing the status complete progress rendering waiting all that stuff so here it is the job is submitting right now and soon it will start to render here you can see that we have 30 nodes assigned and each node will be rendering 10 frames so all the frames are rendering basically simultaneously here you can double click and then here click on status and select let's say the ones that are rendering and you see that we have first 10 frames rendering second 10 frames rendering and so on and so on for the config we are using 1390s as we specified that and then you can go here into my downloads and you can set it to download and then you can open the storage and also you can specify here in the settings i think it was here download settings default download location and you just set up the download location where you want all the files to be downloaded well that houdini project is rendering i just wanted to show you how you should submit your Cinema 4D uh, projects. For example, this one is from my latest uh, flower tutorial, flower pack. There are five of these beautiful flowers you can purchase or just watch tutorial and recreate them in Houdini. And you should go here, click on file, and click save project with assets. And when you click this, you will be prompted to create new folder with all the assets to be local to that folder. For example, here you can see that my Alembics are local to the folder where this Cinema 4D file is located. So basically I can just drag and drop this file with uh, all the textures because they are also yeah, local to, to this folder into the Fox farm and it will render nicely. If you will have any assets that are missing the Fox Farm will let you know about that and won't render so there, there won't be any corrupted frames or something like that. So that's also a very good thing because honestly I was using a few other render farms and yes I lost some money because of my fault when I simply didn't check if let's say my HDRIs are local to the folder and are in the basically in the text folder if you are familiar with Cinema 4D. Alright so here you can see the status is done and we have all of our frames rendered so these are preview renders and they were super fast so actually you can see that here these 10 frames started at 3 p.m 18 minutes and ended on 3 p.m 20 minutes so it's just like two minutes for 10 frames and it's it's sort of a preview quality but uh, actually um, I can show you it's full res and it's just like lower sample count here. You can see that we have them here rendered with all the all the stuff. Just something like this. You can tune in next week to check how to do this stuff. So yeah, that's how you render your files cheap fast and with awesome quality. That's all for today guys. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I'll be back very soon. Bye!